Je déclare ouverte. I call to order the 15th plenary meeting of the General Assembly. The Assembly will now hear an address by His Excellency Mr. Gumbonguli Berdi Muhammadov, President of Turkmenistan. I ask protocol to accompany His Excellency to the podium. Au nom de l'Assemblée générale, j'ai l'honneur. On behalf of the General Assembly, I wish to welcome to the United Nations Organization His Excellency Mr. Gubonguli Bedi Muhammadov, President of Turkmenistan. And I invite him to take the floor before the General Assembly. Madam President, distinguished heads of delegations, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, allow me to congratulate Madam Maria Fernandez Espinosa Garces on her election to the post of the President of the 73rd Session of the UN General Assembly and wish her every success in her forthcoming important work. I would also like to express my appreciation to Mr. Miroslav Lajcik, President of the 72nd Session, for his skilled and effective work in this post. Distinguished participants, this session of the General Assembly is taking place against a background of complex trends in international politics, in spite of the efforts of the international community, primarily represented by the United Nations, the situation in a number of regions of the globe continues to be complicated. There has been a proliferation of conflict-prone areas at the same time there has been a decrease in the overall level of trust and mutual understanding in our views on how best to promote global development. In these circumstances, the issue of ensuring comprehensive, lasting and long-term security is all too apparent and pertinent. This means the responsibility for mankind's destiny must be borne by every state. We believe that the United Nations needs to play the main and decisive role in preserving the foundations of our international order. This is based on the principles of mutual respect and peaceful political dialogue. The legitimacy of this mission of the United Nations cannot be brought into doubt. The United Nations is the only universal international organization in place to ensure multilateral cooperation to strengthen international security and sustainable development. Turkmenistan believes that this General Assembly session's role is to help overcome this crisis of confidence and to strengthen mutual understanding among member states. In this regard, Turkmenistan is putting forward an initiative to have 2019 as the year of peace and trust. Our initiative envisages developing specific measures to reduce tensions, to promote the political and diplomatic resolution of disputes and disagreements, and to adopt here responsible and balanced decisions. Distinguished members of delegations, 
providing long-term and comprehensive security is a key issue for Central Asian states. The fight against terrorism is an extremely important item on our regional agenda. However, cooperation on disarmament matters. Combating drug trafficking and comprehensive economic support for Afghanistan are no less important issues in terms of promoting security and stable development. In this regard, we believe that it is crucially important to involve Afghanistan in implementing major energy, transport and communications projects and this as a fully-fledged partner. We regard this issue as being of strategic importance for Afghanistan. It will promote its role in regional and global processes and will help guarantee the prosperity and well-being of the Afghan people. We are steadfastly working towards this goal. Our country is therefore implementing a project uh, on the Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, TAPI gas pipeline. We are building a power supply line and a fiber optic communications network. network. This is supported by our international partners as well as major financial institutions. A new railway to Afghanistan has also been completed. We continue to provide humanitarian assistance to Afghanistan by building social facilities, sending humanitarian aid convoys, and by training qualified national specialists for various sectors of the Afghan economy and society. Distinguished participants, Turkmenistan has taken an active part in developing the Sustainable Development Agenda for the period to 2030 and has put forward a number of specific proposals. Following the adoption by the World Summit on the Sustainable Development Goals in 2015, our country was one of the first to embark on adapting the SDGs to its national plans and social and economic development programs. In this regard, we have established an appropriate permanent mechanism for cooperation with the United Nations. The implementation of the SDGs in Turkmenistan has particularly focuses on social aspects. By this, we mean important issues such as food security and improving people's nutrition, issues such as the all-round promotion of a healthy way of life, ensuring full gender equality by guaranteeing the rights and opportunities for all women and girls, and also creating the conditions for a comprehensive, equitable and high quality education system. Alongside this, we pay particular attention to the goal of ensuring the provision and sensible use of water resources and also sanitation for all. Distinguished participants, Turkmenistan is firmly committed to the principle that water is the common heritage of all nations of the planet and that equal and equitable access to clean drinking water is a fundamental human right. The development of states, their economy and their social sectors as well as the degree of people's well-being and quality of life directly depends on access to water resources and their effective use. Therefore, equal rights 
the mutual respect and responsibility, all these should be the main criterion determining relations between Central Asian states. By steadfastly adhering to these beliefs, Turkmenistan has always stated that the existing water and energy issues in our region should be resolved, firstly, on the basis of generally accepted rules of international law, secondly, taking into consideration the interests of each country, thirdly, with the active participation of international organizations, primarily the United Nations. This is our principled position. Based on it, we shall continue to build effective negotiating mechanisms between state and international bodies. The idea is to develop coordinated approaches. I am convinced that only by doing so can we achieve positive results. And only by doing so can we ensure a stable and sustainable balance of interests. The issue of saving the Aral Sea stands prominently um, among the major topics of cooperation between the countries of the region and the international community. It's clear that preserving the Aral Sea can no longer be considered as an internal regional problem. Dealing with it successfully requires assistance from the international community, as well as an innovative, goal-oriented and comprehensive international approach. There's also a need for the systematic participation in this work of the United Nations. In this regard, we have embarked on implementing Turkmenistan's initiative to draw up a special United Nations program for the Aral Sea Basin. The Aral Sea issue would be earmarked as a separate sector of the organization's work. I urge the United Nations member states to support our initiative. The United Nations resolution on cooperation between the United Nations and the International Fund for Saving the Aral Sea, adopted by consensus on the 18th of April this year, could serve as a good basis for this. Distinguished participants, another major issue is the Caspian Sea. The signing on the August the 12th this year of the Convention on the Legal Status of the Caspian Sea by heads of Caspian Sea states paves the way for transforming the Caspian Sea region into a strategic transport, transit and energy hub of international importance, as well as an area for broad investment, trade and economic activity and cooperation. Turkmenistan is ready to discuss meaningfully with all interested parties the implementation of projects in these areas. These would be projects that are fully economically and commercially feasible and that would have benefits for all potential participants. Projects that can significantly influence the strengthening of continental security and are long-term in nature. It is no exaggeration to say that investing in these projects is an investment in the future. Distinguished participants, we highly value the effective participation of the United Nations Specialized Agencies represented in Turkmenistan, working in our country. They're working towards its dynamic development and well-being of our people. I would like to express our sincere gratitude to the staff of those agencies for their selfless work. 
I would also like to thank the distinguished Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Antonio Guterres, for his unfailing, constant personal attention he pays to United Nations cooperation with Turkmenistan. I'd like to thank him for his support of our initiatives and endeavours. Thank you very much indeed. On behalf of the General Assembly, I wish to thank the President of Turkmenistan for the statement just made. I request protocol, uh, excuse me, I pre request representatives to remain seated while we bid farewell to the Head of State. <laughs>